cobalt is the 27th element on the periodic table. And like a lot of these transition metals, it is alloyed with steel to make the steel stronger. But unlike a lot of unknown transition metals like vanadium or scandium, cobalt's name is pretty well known. And this is for two reasons. The first reason is that um, small amounts of cobalt compounds mixed with glass make the glass a nice blue color. Now, this is used just for fancy bottles and little trinkets, but it is also um, used to block uh, sodium emission spectrum and other um, elements emission spectrum. So it's used as a filter, and I've actually used it as a filter in some of my um, experiments. If you look here, here is a um, bottle of um, cobalt nitrate, and you can see it's kind of a reddish color, but a mixture of these compounds added to glass makes it blue. Another reason that cobalt's name is pretty well known is that it is associated with um, radiation and nuclear weapons. Now this is, this is not accidental. Normal, naturally occurring cobalt is cobalt-59, which means that the number of protons in its nucleus plus the number of neutrons in its nucleus add up to 59. But there is a type of cobalt, cobalt-60, that is a major component of nuclear fallout, and it is very radioactive, unlike cobalt-59, which is completely stable. So cobalt-60 um, is very radioactive, and a lot of people worried about um, cobalt-60 because of nuclear bomb testing. More recently, there was another, there is another major application to cobalt, which is in lithium ion batteries. So a lithium cobalt compound is used in these batteries, and there's a big problem with this because most of the world's cobalt is produced, is mined in a a uh, narrow belt in Africa where there's a ton of civil war and also the process that they use to mine it isn't very environmentally friendly and cobalt itself isn't that environmentally friendly. So there's a lot of research going into how to make lithium ion batteries that are rechargeable because that's the main um, need for the cobalt is to make them rechargeable that don't use cobalt. So um, there's some research going into a possible manganese substitute um, and manganese is used in not manganese dioxide is used in non-rechargeable batteries. So, the problem with manganese and rechargeable batteries is after a few charges, the crystal structure breaks down, and it can't carry charge anymore. As always, I try to show a sample of whatever element I'm talking about, and so far I've been able to do a pretty good job. Uh, I've shown a, a sample of every element except for fluorine. So here I have cobalt powder, cobalt metal powder, in this glass ampule, which is inside this plastic bag. And it's in this plastic bag because when it arrived, the supposedly closed glass ampule actually had, had a little chip in it so the cobalt could come out. But here's just pure cobalt powder. And there are much more beautiful forms of it, but this is the easiest form I could get.